Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. What have I learnt this week? Mm. Well, about a month ago, I um, bought some Noro yarn from a company and when it arrived, it was a bit smelly and I was disappointed. I asked my subscribers for some, for some feedback on how I could get the smell out of the yarn because the only thing I could think of doing was over dyeing or felting. And I did get a lot of feedback. So the last month I have been trying different tips to get smells out of yarn. Because besides the Noro, a friend gave me some yarn that had been given to her to pass on to me that was really smelly and she'd been reluctant. But I said I could try some of these tips. So here goes. So this is the Noro yarn I bought. And this is some of the yarn my friend gave me. So the first tip I tried was you could scrunch up newspaper, sit the yarn on top in a Tupperware container, seal it and leave it for a, a week. I actually left it for two weeks to see if it got the smell out of the yarn. So the, my friend gave me three balls of this um, Woolworths Baby 3-ply nylon yarn. It's very old because it's like 64 cents a ball. They're like I don't know, 20 gram, 5 gram balls. It's a lovely colour and it's beautiful and soft. But it was very smelly. So I tried this one on the Crunch newspaper. Now it has taken some of the smell out. But it's still quite smelly. Um, and that is very old yarn. So that was number one. It does work but not for really strong smells. The next tip I um, took was... Um, I could sit my Noro yarn on top of bicarb soda and see how it went. So I tried that and guess what? That was a great tip. Now the smell of the Noro wasn't as strong as this yarn, but it is gone. It is was a great tip for the smell that was in this yarn. This just smells like normal yarn now. So thank you. I think it was Janice who gave me that tip. And this does really work. I just, what I did was I put bicarb of soda in a round bowl, sat this on top. I had to, and I just covered it with a tea towel and left it like that for a week. And the smell was gone. Great tip. Now, someone else said, just hang it out in the fresh air. And I did hang some of the blue yarn I was given in one of these. This is my crochet fruit and veggie bag thing I use, an emergency shopping bag. I hung it outside in the fresh air and the breeze on the line, um, on the patio where I have a washing line as well for a week and it made very little difference to the strong smelling yarn. I didn't put the Noro out there. She gave me some blue yarn. It was totem, Peyton's Totem Wool, which is really good quality yarn. Strong smelling like this one. That didn't work that well. So a lot of people suggested I go across to Cinnamon um, Stitches Jennifer because she had some tips on yarn. And mainly it was washing it out and using it for yourself, which is not a bad idea if you've got um, smelly yarn. And it's good quality yarn. If you wash it in a light wool detergent and take the smell out, you can reuse it and use it for yourself. I mean... I don't know if you could sell it on or you could felt it and sell it on. But yeah, her, t her video was great. I did learn a lot. And if I found yarn I liked that was smelly, I would wash it and use it for myself. Now the other tip which I came up with is you could over dye or felt it. So the blue totems yarn I was given, because it was a very bright blue, I over dyed. And it's got these purple flecks in it. Now, it didn't take to the dye as well as it could. But then I'm not a, um expert dye. I'm a beginner. So they're the two skeins I did in that. The smell has gone. And it's been over dyed with some purple splatches. I had more. I'd say some of it was used. And... The funny thing about this was when I, I did these separately with some green and you can tell from the way it's worked up that it's been used before. 
but I don't think it was Peyton's yarn and maybe not pure wool, I haven't checked. But I over dyed this with some green. The reason being, um, the way I dye, you rinse the yarn first in cold water. A lot of blue dye came out of these skeins, whereas it didn't out of this one. So I don't know if it had been pre-dyed or what. What will I use this for? Well, I will either make tea cozies um, or dog coats for the animal refuge. Well, I have been thinking, I have lots of bif different bits of pure wool yarn that I've dyed. I could always do up a great blanket for Saxon in pure wool, the rebel. But they were my tips on what I learned this week. So I learned that over dyeing and washing does work, of course, because you're putting it in water and, and with over dyeing dyes and vinegar, which will take the smell out. Washing it obviously will take the smell out unless it's really bad. But the best tip I think I got without actually immersing the yarn in some sort of liquid was sitting the Noro on bicarb soda. And I did leave it for a week and it's perfect. This is my new Noro yarn I can now use. So to those subscribers who followed me for a while and gave me great tips, I thank you. Uh, highly recommend you watch um, Cinema Stitches Jennifer's on getting smelly yarn out of your um, the smell out of your yarn her tutorial I'll put that in the description below the link to that because that was really helpful um, in summary I learned there are lots of different ways you can get smell out of the yarn depending on how strong the smell is as to what method you use but I do recommend the bicarb soda if you don't want to immerse it in water or wash it so guys until next time stay safe take care remember life's an adventure and you could have a dying yarn adventure I'm really enjoying dying yarn and experimenting so there you go bye for now